Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for EMS Now. I'm here at SMTAI in Texas and I'm joined by Ernie Grice, who is from Kurs Erza. Good to see you. Thanks Good for to stopping see you too. by. Thank you. Um, very familiar with your company in uh, in Europe, not so much so here in the US. Right. Give me a flavor for size of the business here and, and what, what your focus is. Um, Kurtz Ursa North America, headquarters in Plymouth, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got about 30 people on staff uh, for our North America division. We also just opened up uh, Kurtz Ursa Mexico in Mexico City uh, with direct personnel also in Guadalajara and Juarez. So big expansion in Mexico mm. this, for, this year for us. but. You know, we do. We have a really good, solid business in North America with selective soldering and um, our full tunnel wave soldering machines, mm. which is really starting to take off now, and our uh, rework and inspection side of the business. So. Okay, okay. And big investment in Mexico is that because you're seeing a, a kind of upturn in the in the amount of business, the opportunity from down there, or oh, what's the motivation? Yeah, there? no doubt. I mean, Mexico is is definitely um, has a lot of economic potential. Mm. Um, still big factories down there producing, you know, automotive is really hot in Mexico. So, so you know, we're, we're definitely seeing the trend of uh, Mexico growing in growth and we're positioning ourselves to be able to sustain that growth. And our sales down in Mexico is there yeah. as well, so we have to grow with it. Yeah, so. and we, we hear some stuff about regionalization, um, reshoring, whatever people want to call it. And I wonder if the dividend from that will really come to Mexico rather than to perhaps the more expensive regions in North America. Do you see some business returning from Asia to, to Oh, Mexico? absolutely, for sure. So that's already begun. Mm. You know, Mexico is starting to see that resurgence again. Um, you know, there there is some products that are coming back from Asia to Mexico. Mm. Uh, but, but really, it's just that, you know, the companies that are going to, you know, send product offshore are starting to say, okay, well, let's send it to Mexico instead of China this yeah, time, yeah, you know, and yeah. that's what we're seeing for sure. Yeah, in one sense, is the whole China thing was a bit of a almost a lemming rush. Everybody was talking about it. Everybody Follow the leader. Yeah. yeah, and it kind of right. drove everybody there. In terms of technology, what what's driving the re, the technology requirements for um, for reflow for ovens in um, in the U.S. at the moment? Yeah, I mean, it 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 really depends. You know, um, it depends on the market segment. But for, for us, you know, selective soldering is, is the driving force for us, right? As, you know, the double-sided mix technology is, is now, you know, the prevalent technology. Wave soldering process really hasn't done a whole lot. Um, and, and you really need more flexibility, and that's mm. where selective soldering comes into play. So, I mean, that is the, that is the hot button for us. Okay, and can selective soldering deal with the, with the high volume manufacturing, the, the kind of speed requirements? Yeah, or? it can. You know, our VersaFlow 3 platform is modular, so you can add modules. You can have up to, you know, you can have three gantry systems, uh, three soldering modules, uh, two soldering pots per module, so you can have a six solder pot machine, dual lane machine, so you can really get some speed out of there. Mm. And, and really what it comes down to is, is you know, do you want to have a wave solder machine that you know, can throw a board off your, off your line every 20 seconds and have a ton of rework? Right. Or do you want to have you know, uh, a soldering machine that can go every 30 seconds, selective solder machine, and you don't and have no the rework? rework. Right. And in a high cost environment or a higher cost right. environment. And like it's, you know, the, 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 the equipment is more, you, you pay more for a selective mm. solder machine than you do for a wave solder machine, but but the operating costs are like a quarter, yeah. you know, of what a wave solder machine costs, you know. Cost of solder is atrocious these days, mm. right? So it's massive costs in running that machine in a selective solder machine. It's, it's about a quarter of the cost of a wave solder machine. And what impact does that have on uh, changeover when you're moving from job to job? Because I see some some bottlenecks in the in that in the higher volume lines mm -hmm. in terms of changeover of profile on the ovens does selective solder reduce that change over time or um you know i mean for for uh it's really just a recipe change mm -hmm. right so with our flexible machines where you've got a solder pot moving on a gantry underneath the board x y and z it's just a program change yeah. so we're we're That's up quick. and running we're yeah. really quick yeah um, if you got to change some small tooling, it can be five minutes. But okay. but the real changeover is is up at the front of the line with the surface mount machines, yeah. the pick and place machines. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And where where do you see the where do you see the growth moving forward? More in Mexico. What about what about in in North America? We're here in Texas. 
been some good stuff in the news lately regarding Moto X and a few other yeah, sure. um, projects. Do you think there are some good opportunities here? Yeah, f for sure. I mean, you know, if you take the Mexico part of part of our numbers out, mm. right? I mean, uh, you know, Ursa North America still had a phenomenal year. It's it's our best year ever in business in North okay. America, and you know, this is coming from. Uh, the military sector, the medical sector, from you know automotive, we've even saw a little resurgence of some consumer electronic mm. stuff coming in, which we haven't seen before, and and some alternative technology stuff. You know, there's some some cutting edge companies that are doing stuff differently, and and you know they they need to solder boards yeah. and and they want the best equipment, and yeah. we've capitalized on that. Yeah, so. I mean you've always been seen as kind of a technology leader, high end. Right. So I guess if the pressures become technical, the pressures become those demand driven, not just price pressures you're going to win over. Is that why you think you've had that phenomenal year? Because you must have grown market share because the market didn't grow phenomenally. Right. Yeah. We grew market share because, you know, we, you know, our, our philosophy as a company isn't to build a cheap machine, mm. right? I mean, it's not our technology. Uh, we don't, nobody innovates in that way, you know, so our, our, uh, core competency is to is to innovate technology and to bring that technology and know-how to the market. Mm. And a lot of companies who may have started out on the low end of the technology spectrum have started to say, oh, well, all right, we did this and now we're ready to go to the next step and we're ready to, you know, go to the pros. Yeah. Let's let's buy yeah. an Ursa machine. That's so. excellent. And these kind of events which are small amount of exhibit but much more about the technical program are they strong for you in terms of getting your message out there delivering your your technical know-how yeah it you know it definitely it's a it's a good forum mm. um, for us uh, you know some of the stuff of course with the product tronicas right yeah. and the apexes those are the you know those are the the ones that we focus yeah. a lot on but this year we want to make a, a, a resurgence for more show, re regional shows like this, even tabletops, yeah. you know, just to be there so that we can capture everybody who may not be able to go to an Apex or a yeah. Productronica. Yeah. Well, we're going to be uh, working with you guys. I know you're sponsoring one of our studios at Productronica, so right. very much looking forward to that, looking forward to seeing you guys there. But Ernie, thanks for stopping by. Thanks, thanks for a lot. chatting. Thank you very much. Thank you.